Minecraft world, I have a lot of farms that run on bone meal. But like most Minecraft players, I run out very often. Why do I have a mob farm if it produces like no bones? Ah! But today, we're gonna change that. And if I don't, my neighbors might get me evicted. Ah! I'm gonna make an epic redstone-powered skeleton farm, which will be hidden inside of an absolutely massive custom skeleton base. All in Minecraft hardcore. So my inspiration for this skeleton base is actually from these other mob statues that I made in previous episodes. And ironically, this zombie base actually is a mob farm that produces, like, no bones. But okay, let's get to work. So before I could build anything, I had to go find the proper location. So I ventured out far and wide in search of a skeleton mob spawner. Oh, spawner. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Any loot for me? Oh, why, thank you. Oh, boys, I think we found a skeleton spawner. Let's go. And a name tag. Thank you very much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. Uh, wait, how is that there? But this stuff is... is <gasps> Do you guys know what this means? We found a double skeleton spawner. Don't kill me, please. <gasps> I'm so happy and so scared at the same time. Let's be cautious about this. Okay, I have no idea how rare a double spawner is, but this is like perfect for today's video. I am so happy right now. And if my math is correct, I should be pretty close to my home base. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Well, I promised you guys an epic skeleton farm and dang flabbit, you're gonna get one. Dang flabbit. I gotta get out more. But now that we found this insane double spawner, it's time for us to head back home and figure out how the heck I can turn this into a farm. Cause I'll be honest, I did not plan for this. This. Okay, so if I was a betting man, I would say we're gonna need a lot of redstone and water buckets. And we have no redstone. Oh my gosh, we used it all last video on that stupid pyramid I made. I hate myself right now. Well, for now, it looks like we're relying on water buckets and a bunch of signs. Everybody cross your fingers. And that should be enough. Where is my spawner? How have I already lost it? Oh, there it is. Now we dig. Because I've made a lot of mob farms in my life and they all include a giant room with the spawner in it. So yeah, we dig. I kind of wish I brought a beacon with me because this is taking forever. Okay, okay, looking good. Now it's time for us to take out the water buckets and begin spreading water across the floor. And what I'm hoping is that we can make water kind of flow the skeletons into the middle here and make kind of like a water elevator that shoots them up somewhere. I think that'll work. I just realized I didn't need all those water buckets because I can just keep refilling it right here. I feel really dumb right now. Uh huh. look at me, Mr. Big Brain. I got the water making a little track right here. Now we go down one, put some more water in, and now all the skeletons will be led down to the elevator, aka the skeletor. Get it? It's like a pun. Skeleton. Elevator. I have no friends. But all right, let's give it a try. Let's break all the lights off and let's watch the bad boys spawn. Yes, yes, go down there. Don't shoot each other, you stupid idiots. Well, only one survived, but it works. It definitely works. Stop that. Okay, I need to get a totem. I'll be back later. But now that we know the farm works, we're gonna pause that and begin working on the giant skeleton base. So my plan is to build a massive skeleton statue. And after decorating it to make it all pretty, we are then gonna funnel all the skeletons from the farm into the base for killing and loot collection. And yes, I'll be using redstone too. I know you guys love watching me suffer in this game. But okay, I say we start off by making a platform for our skeleton base to sit upon. And of course, we'll be using diorite. The most beautiful block in the game. Okay, so I think the middle would be like right around here. And we're just gonna raise it up and expand it a little bit. Now we just bring this down into the water and ta-da. Yeah, I think that's good. Now it's skeleton building time. And for that, we're gonna need a variety of different kinds of stone blocks. The idea for these kinds of mob statues is to build them out of simple natural Minecraft blocks. And then after the fact, add in some structures as decorations. So off I went, collecting up a whole bunch of stone, gravel, andesite, and a few different kinds of ores. And 
as I collect all these gorgeous Minecraft blocks, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, let's begin, Mr. Skeleton Man. So we're gonna start off by making the skeleton's legs using andesite and a little bit of stone. And we're gonna raise this thing up about 20 more blocks. Skeletons have very long legs. And yeah, I think those are a fine pair of legs. I might have overdone it with all the oars, but it looks colorful, so I approve. Farzy likes color. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the hips. And I'm pretty sure these are just like one out off the body. So I go like this and bring this around the legs like so. Is this accurate? Uh, You there, let me see your hips. Uh, Yeah, I think I did that right. Hey, hey stop, stop. I just started a, a world war. I'm just gonna make this a tad bit taller. And now for the backbone. Perfection. Look at that spine. I wish I had one of those. Well, with the lower body of this statue out of the way, we had to find a way to get all these skeletons up into the skeleton base. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? It's time to build the skelevator. I've been waiting all day for this. Okay, step one, dig down and find the spawner. I think it's somewhere around here. Here we are. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't want this. I forgot you guys exist. I'm just gonna do this for now. But all right, so we're gonna make a little hole here. Put down down some signs. Now we just gotta make ourselves a good old-fashioned water elevator. You got your soul sand. A big old hole for water. And copious amounts of kelp. Copious means a lot. Okay, it's time to give it a test. Oh, Mr. Skeletons. All right, come on this way. Come up, come on. Oh, it's working. I see him. I see him. Oh, oh, they're all coming up at once. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, there's so many skeletons right there. All right, chill, chill, chill. Under the sea. Please don't kill me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to contain them a little bit better than that. This giant glass pipe should suffice. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, I just had a realization. How am I gonna get the skeletons from here up there? Unless... And as you could probably guess, I expanded the water elevator up and through the skeleton's legs. That is what I'm talking about. Look at this ingenuity. Oh, I love when things work out for me. But okay, guys, with the lower body all out of the way, it's time for us to segue to the upper body, which will also contain a fancy system to collect the skeleton's loot. Let's go. So the two main components for the skeleton's upper body is his ribs and his arms, which means we're also going to need Need some more materials. Cause somehow I already ran out. I don't know how, but whatever. Well, hello there, diamonds. As a matter of fact, these bad boys would look sick on the statue. All right, that settles it. I need cooler ores. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry, zombies. Not you today. It's a skeleton kind of day. And that should be good. Right after I get some real food. I've been eating rotten flesh for the past 10 minutes. Whee! Okay, we're gonna make a rib right here, then hop down a little bit, and then one here, and maybe just one more right there. Now we bring it this way, and connect it over here to the front. I hope I'm doing this right. Stop shooting me, I'm just trying to see your ribs. Stop moving. Now I just gotta add the chest bone to cover up the front. For the record, I'm like 99% sure there's no such thing as a chest bone. And now all we gotta do is make some arms. Oh, I forgot how gravity works. Let's try that again. Oh, can you guys see the vision or what? As soon as we put a head on this bad boy, oh, it's gonna be amazing. And now, as we already talked about, I need to make a system to collect all the skeleton's loot right up here. And I think I have just the plan for this. Keyword, think, because I'm not sure. I need some lava. Where is lava? Also, why do I never clean these stupid shulker boxes? Where is the lava? I guess I gotta do this the old fashioned way. <gasps> Lava. Nom nom nom. Hey. Okay, so the plan here is very simple. The skeletons will get shot up to, let's say, this block right up here. Then we can use a water current to push them over here to the middle. Will this work? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh 
Maybe if I go like this and then put the water up here. Okay, yeah, yeah, that works. And then even more signs in the middle because we can't have enough signs, I guess. And now for the moment of truth. We take our lava and put it here as it spans across the signs, killing the skeletons as soon as they touch it like this. I think it's flawless. I'm having a hard time getting out of this thing. <sighs> All right, let's see if it's gonna work. So I set AFK near the spawner for a few minutes and it turns out it's kind of working. There's skeletons here, but they're fighting each other. I think I know what the problem is here. We need some ice. This way, when the skeletons get yeeted up here, they'll have a little extra push from the slippery ice. Science. Now we're just gonna make some hoppers to pick up all the loot. Easy peasy. Wait, where did the chests go? Uh... To make a long story short, I had to completely redo my collection system. I hate this. 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 I hate this so much. Okay, so essentially now the skeletons will get flushed up through the statue's arms and the lava killing chamber is up here at the very top. And I'll be honest with you guys, I actually don't hate this. It is pretty cool. I just hope it works, but I guess we're gonna find out. Also, can you see all the pipes I made up there? Oh, you can't even see anything. Well, almost. I can see a little bit of ice and soul sand, but that's okay. Now, before we move on to the next part of this build, I gotta take care of something really important. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to announce I am officially bringing back the like challenges. How it works is that I give you guys a like goal, and if you hit that like goal, I have to do some crazy dangerous challenge that may or may not kill me. It's pretty fun. So that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will trap myself in a room with 100 creepers and I have to fight them all with no totem. The like challenges are coming back with a bang. Literally. So go like the video. But carrying on, now it's time to make the skeleton's head. And if we're gonna pull this thing off, I need to make a pit stop at the Mesa biome. We're gonna need a whole bunch of this terracotta to make the skeleton's eyes, nose, and mouth. Don't question me, it'll look good. You guys See that salmon down there? Well, watch this! Bruh. What? What? <sighs> Come on! <laughs> it's impossible. I will hit this guy. I don't care how long it takes. I told ya, I'm the hardcore king. No. Okay, so let's expand the head this way and then bring it out a little more in the front, maybe like four blocks like that, maybe? How'd I do that zombie one over there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think this ought to work. Now we're gonna use brown terracotta for the mouth right here and black for the nose and eyes. Why does the brown terracotta look so weird on this guy? I did the same thing for my zombie statue. Oh, wait. I didn't use any dirt or granite on my skeleton. I just used all gray blocks. Whoopsies. That was kind of an oversight by me. So let me just fix this. Boom, boom, boom. And that's much better. Look at this guy. He's so handsome. Dude, what? <laughs> Why is there a wandering trader in the head? Hello, buddy. I don't got time for you today, but I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Oh no, he despawned. That was so unexpected. Dang it, man. And now, just like my other mob statues, I want to make some decorations on top of the skeleton. Now for these bad boys, I've done... Uh, I'm falling. <laughs> what I was gonna say is for these bad boys, I made like villager houses or like trees or just like some random nature. So I'm probably gonna do something like that. So let's fly down here and grab some grass and let's give this skeleton a nice hairpiece. Now we just throw in some trees, some bone meal, and I'm gonna put a little bit right here on the shoulders. And that is how you do it. And for the cherry on top, I think... I think I want to give this guy a bow. It's going to serve absolutely no function, but it'll look cool. Iron baby, die. Uh, it looks good, but I also think it looks way too small. I don't actually know what we did wrong there, but I'm gonna keep it because I think it looks good enough. Oh my gosh, from this angle, the bow looks so tiny, dude. Oh, it's so bad. But all right, all I gotta do now is make a little AFK room so I can let the skeleton spawn while I'm not playing. Oh, oh, we're up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Let me go up a little bit higher. Sorry, Mr. Skeletons. My bad. Right here should suffice.
Why are there so many glow squid in my skeleton spawner, man? Stop that. Wait, ready? Check this out. Ah, uh, tinted glass on the floor so I can see the spawner in action? I say yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, the squids are still spawning. Why are they doing this? But regardless of our squiddy friends, all I care about is does the farm work? And the answer is no. Wait, what? Uh, one second. Oh, I see the issue. A couple missing signs. All right, that should fix it. Ah, uh, there we go. It's working again. And the loot is bountiful, including glow ink sacks. It's a squid and bone farm. Pretty cool. But guys, that's gonna be it from me. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.